what is this all about? And the answer is this, story of DNA. Oh, that famous story. I remember the day that was announced in the newspaper. I lived in New York City. We had the Daily News, which was some tabloid. Always had a big picture of something on the front, car accidents, mobsters killing each other, something like, wow, I'd run out on the porch and go, what's the picture today? And the first time I ever went out and opened up the Daily News, there wasn't even a picture on the front page. The whole page just had a block print. Secret of life discovered. <gasps> the DNA secret came out in 1953. And what does it mean? Oh, it was the belief that genes control the characters of who we are. And I go, well, first of all, is this Watson and Crick's work? Well, in a Me Too world, it's time to make another announcement here. It wasn't them who discovered the DNA double helix. It was a woman. Her name is Rosalind Franklin. Her major advisor gave her research to Watson and Crick. And, and guess what? She didn't even know about it. And they took her research and created their story, and they didn't even cite her name in the references, even though they took the research of a double helix from a woman and never assigned any value to that. So it's Rosalind Franklin, who is one of the big people in this story. So I say, so what does all this represent? Well, we bought into a belief that genes turn on and off, and in the process control our lives. I go, wow, that, that's a science called genetic determinism. Genes determine the characteristics of your life. I go, well, yeah, that's what we all bought into, that idea, and I even contributed that 40 or 50 years ago. But look at this cover of Life magazine. Were you born that way? Not only our physical structure is attributed to genes, but our emotions and our behavior are apparently caused by genes.